more fire You can see in the night a ghost rider You never forget me, such a light of touch Take control, I give you power I'm a ghost rider, we gonna catch the fire We run in control, to set the feeling higher And I don't need to hold on, cause I can feel the power I want this feeling higher, I want this feeling higher Pedro. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm living in Sweden for five years already. Um, and I uh, just recently, a couple of months ago, I bought a new car, Cinemax 5 RF. And uh, this car totally opened my eyes to a new world of, uh, of uh, sports cars and racing. Um, I decided to get into racing with the iSIM simulator, uh, iRacing simulator, and then I realized that that was not enough and I wanted to actually feel the cheese and feel the smell of the gasoline and decide to see how I could go further and actually participating in, in car racing or motorsports. And um, I started looking around and I found out that there was a club in Sweden for uh, MX-5, uh, uh, it's called MX-5 Racing Club for MX-5 owners who want to participate in races and get into the tracks and, uh, and sprint cups and um, I found that it was a great opportunity to start into racing um, and it uh, actually motivated me a lot to pursue uh, further on let's hope how far I can get in, into car racing and, uh, and develop my skills as a driver um, so and this series of blogs basically I will try to to go through my path my career and uh, go through how I'm gonna try to get the sponsorships uh, the racing equipment uh, reviews and unboxing of the equipment uh, uh, upgrading my car preparing the car for the track so everything from total zero rookie for someone who doesn't know anything and um, yeah let's see how it will go. Um, in this first video, I would like to uh, make a review of some equipment that I bought. My first racing equipment. It's a it's a helmet from Grid Sports. It's called um, Pyrotech Ultra Sport Racing Helmet. So uh, I'm gonna make an unboxing and review, and I also order from uh, Demon Demon Twix England. Um, uh, a pair of uh, Alpine Stars racing shoes and gloves, which I'm gonna uh, also do the unboxing and review in the second episode. And um, yeah, I hope you like it. So, this package arrived today from Grid Sports in the United States, so uh, it was quite a heavy tax load over this helmet. Um, it wasn't that much expensive, but then uh, in the end you end up paying, uh, I would guess, like, I don't know, maybe 30% of taxes, which is not that great, but, uh, well, I hope it's worth it. Um, it was really fast, they shipped really fast, and uh, I got here in uh, maybe less than a week. Um, and so, let's see, how is it inside? So it comes from the second box. This is the Pyrotech, uh, Pyrotech Ultra Sport Racing Helmet. It comes in a nice, uh, nice box. Uh, about the sizing chart. Um, so I bought the small according to their their um, uh, grid. I am here in this size, so I decided to purchase this the size small. Let's see how it's going to fit. And that. It's nice that it comes in a, a nice bag. I thought it would be just in the bag box, but it comes with a, with a, a nice uh, protection bag. It's quite soft. What else? This is like a, it's like a catalog. 
the different products. Uh, the owner's manual with some uh, extra rings here. I don't know what they are for, but uh, I will see. And uh, oh, two nice uh, stickers. Guess you can put them. Uh, I don't know. You can put on your car, for example. And uh, yeah, let's see how is the helmet. <coughs> It's really soft linen inside, quite protective. And here it is. It comes with a, a really nice matte grey, which uh, is exactly how I was expecting. Uh, it's not that matte, actually it's slightly glossy. Uh, it has this uh, sticker here. The protection film. And then the other side as well. Looks pretty cool. You can uh, install here the uh, uh, neck uh, safety hands or any other system that you want you can uh, just buy the uh, the uh, the fittings and uh, use the uh, neck protector and here we have the strap so as you know this brand has uh, fireproof fireproof uh, helmets he approved. Um, and here you have the uh, how you actually supposed to close it or zip it on your chin. I guess you'd go here and then under. It's a quite firm canvas here, a little bit rigid. I hope it will be easier to put when you have uh, actually the, it on your head. Um, and then you have the shield. Tell the assume you need to press here. There you go. There's some nice uh, ventilation uh, openings here. And on the forehead as well. And then have this nice design here. Aerodynamic on the back. And the uh, ventilation on the back as well. This is the composite version. There is also the uh, carbon. It is very strong. This is all removable. It has some nice velcros inside here. And I will now put it on my head and see if it's the right size and if it's comfortable and how it all goes. Okay, now let's see how uh, the Paratech helmet is going to fit. I hope it won't be too tight. Okay, so it is tight, but uh, it's a comfortable tight. It's pretty doesn't press my ears, which is good. And uh, it's not that heavy. 
the kids will go down. Good mobility in the head. Um, doesn't bounce. And uh, well, it's a good fit. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with the purchase. Um, let's see how it's going to perform on track. I'm going to be uh, unboxing in the next video my Up in Stars shoes um, and gloves. So don't miss it. See you.